This is Hacking the Wild. If I can make myself known, maybe I can flag one of them down. Look how he's getting out. So I just gotta give him a light show. This light is my headlamp. When it's held right up to these icebergs off this glacier, it bounces around a lot inside that. It refracts and it causes the whole thing to glow. That should be a really big bubble of light that anyone's gonna notice. But I gotta make this as eye-catching and you know, there's no way to ignore this if you just happen to be going by in your plane. So what else can I add to my, my light show? The lasers. Yeah. Ooh. Those really bounce around those icebergs well. If I can get this moving too, that'll make it even more eye-catching. I'm going to attach a laser on top of a small motor for my laptop so the laser will spin, illuminating as much ice as possible. Yeah. Okay. I have a bunch of these chemicals that I use when I'm in the field. I can actually draw on this powder since it's sensitive to the UV in this laser. What I would like is to paint a whole big glowing billboard. This powder's not just gonna stick to the rock. Yeah, I might have just enough of this jelly alcohol in there to mix with the powder and make kind of a paint. I'll paint a large X on this rock face, a symbol for distress that any pilot will recognize. I've got this laser. When I hit this X, ch charge up and get really bright. Oh yeah. This powder is actually just fluorescent. It's not phosphorescent like the glow powder, but it lights up really bright whenever any kind of UV light hits it. I'll hit the powder with a headlamp set to strobe mode to make it even more eye-catching. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whoa, this is stunning. I got the iceberg rave going on there. This eerie spinning laser. And of course the giant glowing skull. It's kind of terrifying standing back and looking at it all. But it should be quite eye-catching to anyone who happens to pass by me.